OK, so now we have all the skills we need to solve an optimization problem in full. So let's say we have a sheet of metal that is then folded into an open top box, OK, where the dimensions are 2x, x and h. Firstly, find an expression in terms of x and h for the volume of the box. Well, the volume of a cuboid is just the base times the width times the height. OK, so we could say that V is equal to 2x times x times h. So 2x times x times h. And that would give me 2x squared h. OK. Then the area of the metal. So what are, is the area, the total area of all the sides of the box? So we have this side here, which is 2x times h. So that's 2xh. And we've got two of them, OK, because we've got that one and that one. And so that would be 4xh. We've also got this side here, which is x times h. And we've got two of them, because we've got that front one and the back one. So we've got two lots of xh. And we've got the base, OK? But we don't have a top, so it's just one of the base, 2x by x. So 2x times x, so the base, it will be 2x squared. So that leaves us with 4xh plus 2xh, which is 6xh plus 2x squared, OK? So that now gives us a formula for the volume. OK, so that one there. And we've got a formula for the area, that one there. OK, and that's what we're going to use. So number two, given that V, the volume, is 288 centimetres cubed, show that the area can be given by this equation. So we're told that the volume is 288. So we can put that equal to 288. So 288 is equal to 2x squared h. Now we could divide that equation by 2 to give us 144 is equal to x squared h. And then we could rearrange it to get h. So h is equal to 144 over x squared. Now why would we do that? Why would we get h equals. Well, the reason is that I want to get uh, to using this area equation, because that's what I've been told to use. And the thing that's stopping this look like that is because it has an h in it. But now I can replace the h with 144 over x squared. So that means that we get a equals 6x times h plus 2x squared. Now, 6 times 144 is 864. And so we get 864. That x cancels with one of the x's in the denominator there, leaving with 864 over x plus the 2x squared. And that is exactly what they have in the question. OK? So from there, Find the value of x for which a is a minimum, showing that it is a minimum. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2x squared plus 864x to the minus 1, because I need to find dA by dx, the derivative, because I want to maximum, oh, sorry, minimize the area. And so I must use calculus. And in order to differentiate this, I must write it as ax to the minus 1. So now, let's write this in red. dA by dx, the first derivative, is 4x. Then we've got the minus 1 coming down to the front. And then take 1 off the power. OK. Now, stationary points are going to exist when this 
is zero. So stationary points exist when dA by dx is zero. And so I'm going to put the 4x minus 864x to the minus 2 equal to zero. And now I need to solve this equation. Now, what's troubling is this x to the minus 2. So to get rid of that, I could multiply the whole equation by x squared, which will get rid of this term here. So I'd be left with 4x cubed take away 864 is equal to 0. So that's multiplying both sides by x squared, because x to the minus 2 times x squared is x to the 0, which is 1. I now have an equation that I can solve, because then I can add 864 to both sides and divide by 4. So 864 divided by 4 is 216. And the cube root of 216 is 6. So x must be 6. And so that is the stationary point, the only stationary point that there is. And so that must be what gives me my minimum value of the area of the sheet metal. But I need to show that it's a minimum. So I need to find the second derivative, d2y. Oh, sorry, not y, d2a. d2a by dx squared. We've got to keep our notation um, the same all the way through. So 4x differentiates to 4. The power comes down to the front, so we're going to get two lots of 864. And we're going to have plus now, because it's minus times a minus. So 1, 7, 2, 8. And then take 1 off the power. Then I need to substitute in my x value for the stationary point. So d2a by dx squared, when x is 6, is equal to 4 plus 1728 times 6 to the power of minus 3, which is 12. That is positive, and that implies that x equals 6 gives me a minimum. Now, it makes sense um, that once we're there, um, we find uh, that minimum area. OK, we might as well finish that problem off. And so when, a is, uh, when x is 6, the area, the minimum area that I get, substituting x is 6 into a, is 2 times 6 squared uh, plus 864 divided by 6, and that's 216 centimetres squared. So that is the minimum area of sheet metal um, that I need. So that solves this optimization problem. And you can see that there's a lot of steps, but the question is split up into several pieces, OK? We need to make sure that you can get these equations from the diagram that is likely to be there, OK? Find those equations that you need, and then it is rearranging them, pushing one into the other, to get an equation just in terms of x that then allows you to use the first and second derivative and all of that stuff that we've been learning in this section in order to solve the problem.